Bloomington Tom Allen is explaining this now, recalling a time earlier this year when Sean Shivers almost got guys into a brawl. But that was a good thing, the head coach said. Receivers were blocking defensive backs. So Shivers ran over and started talking trash. Allen described Shivers as having a lot of South Florida confidence indeed, Shivers talks. During practice, he talks trash to Indiana's defense. I tell them like, y'all can't stop me it gets the defense hot. But this is to the defense's benefit. It make them play to their best ability, like each and every time, Shivers said. IU finds its fight, avoids fiasco. No disrespect to Idaho, but we shouldn't be down like that. Insider Q&A, if lots of things don't change, IU has a chance to be very disappointing again. On that day during fall camp, Allen had to bring everyone together. But he also knew the passion Shivers brought was a good thing. I was like, okay, I like this. We didn't have this last year. We didn't have anybody on offense like that last year, Allen said. Earlier this year, IU wasn't doing well during a workout. He just ripped everybody on the team, wide receiver Donovan McCulley said. Perhaps Shivers embodies the toughness Indiana largely lacked last season. The Hoosiers didn't really have a bulldog offensively. Shivers is looking more and more like he can fill that role. The Hoosiers improved to 2-0 with a win over Idaho. IU faced adversity in each of its first two games. This is a flawed football team, but the Hoosiers made impressive responses. Shivers has been an important part of that. He scored the game-winning touchdown against Illinois. Then against Idaho, he exploded for 155 yards on 20 carries and a touchdown. That score was a 46-yard scamper in the fourth quarter. Hey, race the thing about Shivers, he is listed on IU's roster at 5-7, although that might be a little bit generous. What he lacks in height, he makes up for in various other ways. Even back in high school, in the state championship game during his senior season, Shivers left the contest because he got banged up, Shamanad Madonna, Fla, coach Damian Jones said. But it was only briefly, as Shivers was determined to get back in the game. He ran for more than 200 yards that game. Then there was the Illinois game. On IU's first offensive play this season, Shivers got absolutely rocked. It looked like the type of play that could knock someone out for the rest of the game, at the least. I just got the wind knocked out of me, he said. I just couldn't breathe but, I mean, I was still gonna play regardless he later went on to score the game-winning touchdown. Copyright Rich Janzaruk slash Herald Times Indiana's Sean Shivers, too, runs for a touchdown during the Indiana vs. Idaho football game at Memorial Stadium on Saturday, September 10, 2022. I said there's a reason why he's this tall, Allen said, extending his arm horizontally at shoulder height. And he thinks he's this tall, Allen said, raising his arm high above his head. He really has a different mindset. So that's what I love about him. And you saw that shot he took last week. I mean, that was like, holy smokes. And he just had a sore chest, that was it. And so he came back and played shivers said he has always had an edge, which he said was implemented by his mother. I always had the dog in me since I was young, shivers said. He was a standout at Chaminade Madonna, where, according to his IU bio, he rushed for 6,000 plus yards in his high school career. As a senior, that game he was determined to return in, he rushed for more than 200 yards in the 2017 Florida Class 3A state championship, helping the team capture the win. The same mindset Allen sees out of Shivers was evident in high school, too. I'm quite sure he walked around with that chip on his shoulder because he was short and everybody probably looked at him a certain way, Jones said. Shivers, asked about dealing with the perception of being too short, said this. I don't really care what they say before IU, there was Auburn. During four seasons with the Tigers, Shivers ran for more than 1,000 yards with eight rushing touchdowns. But in November 2021, Shivers entered the transfer portal and committed to IU. Shivers stayed with the Hoosiers. Shivers' prolific performance against Idaho doesn't necessarily mean IU's run game is fixed. Last season, running the ball, among other areas, was largely a struggle. It was in part due to IU's poor offensive line play. 
It could also be attributed to the various rotating pieces in the backfield. From the beginning of fall camp 2021 to now, IU's running back room looks vastly different. The offensive line is again a concern this season, but Shivers' performance against Idaho was a promising sign. Perhaps for some, there is a perception Shivers is too short. Sometimes perception can be wrong. Other times, in Shivers' case, it can also talk trash and run right over you. There's a charisma about him, Allen said Thursday. He's enjoyable to be around, first of all. But I love his work ethic, I love his toughness, I love his grit, I love his attitude. Shivers has shown it this season. Indeed, he has that dog in him. This article originally appeared on Indianapolis Star, tough as nails Sean Shivers gives IU offense something it was missing last year.